Hello friends, and today I've got news of two upcoming new features in Tahoma, both using transparency. And the first is with the camera view, and that's this button at the top right of the viewer here. And when you click it, it shows what's visible only through the camera, which is really handy to know what's going to be rendered. But a lot of the time, you need to see what's outside of the camera so you can plan your shots. But in the camera stand view, you can't necessarily clearly see what's within and outside of the camera, even though you do get this red square marking the outside of the camera. But now there's an easier way to show that distinction. So if you change the camera view by clicking the button, now if you right click on it, you get this slider control, and you can adjust it to show some of the drawing outside of the camera area. And this helps not only with drawings, but also for stop motion, to help plan any movement better. And the second transparency feature is to be able to set the transparency for the whole application. And you can do this from the view menu and just click toggle transparency. And this brings up this small dialog that allows you to adjust the amount of transparency in the current application, which allows you to see through to applications behind this one, which could be video players or image viewers. And I've got an example here. So if I bring this onto the screen, I just did a quick Google image search for Casper the Friendly Ghost, just to find an image out. Now if I make this full screen, and then I can adjust the zoom size. And now, if I change this transparency slider, I can see through to the application behind and then trace this drawing, which is great for rotoscoping. So I'll just trace this now. When you're finished, just hit the button to close the transparency window. So there we go, two new transparency features coming soon to Tahoma. Keep an eye on the Tahoma website to know when they're included. And if you'd like to keep up with the news in Tahoma and in Open Tunes, then subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I release a new video. So that's transparency, and that's a guarantee. Have you always wanted to animate but didn't know how to start and software seemed expensive and difficult to use? Well with OpenTunes it's free, powerful and once you know how it's easy to use. And it's my mission to get you animating with it today. Hi, my name's Darren and I've been teaching OpenTunes for the past three years, showing thousands of students just like you how easy it is to animate with and cutting through the jargon to show that anyone can animate with it. And by the end of the course, you'll be able to animate traditionally using OpenTunes. And the course is designed for students brand new to OpenTunes, as well as those new to animation. So take a look at the free lessons I've offered below, and then why not sign up and join me animating traditionally with OpenTunes.